Hey guys, Liv here from Fluoro Fitness with another how-to video of the week where I show one exercise at a time, how to do them correctly. Every Friday afternoon, I post a new video. I've already done videos on how to do squats correctly, lunges, push-ups, planks, and deadlifts, oh, and burpees. So check those out. I'm gonna link them above this video. So um, those videos are great for beginners. If you're just starting out at the gym or if you have joined um, a boot camp and you wanna make sure, or even if you're doing workouts on, um, from YouTube videos and things like that, um, you wanna make sure you do those exercises correctly so you don't end up injuring yourself and you actually working the muscles that you wanna work properly. So one exercise every week I show how to do them right. I also show common mistakes just to demonstrate the right form from the wrong form. And today we're doing kettlebell swings. Very popular exercise, pretty much all the boot camps and CrossFit and F45, all, that, all those sort of classes, they have them. Um, it's a fantastic exercise for your core for your upper body, cardio, glute activation, um, legs, everything. So it's a pretty much a full body compound movement. I'm going to demonstrate what it looks like, what a kettlebell swing is. Then I'm going to show you the common mistakes that I see, and then I'll show you the right way and little cues how to start doing it correctly. Okay, let's get to it. Okay guys, so meet Mr. Kettlebell. Okay, so this is what a traditional kettlebell swing looks like. You may have already done those, you may have already tried those, but um, are you doing it right? Are you feeling it in your lower back or are you actually engaging your glutes? Because this exercise is very much a glute activation exercise, okay? So, I'm gonna show you one mistake that I see a lot. People think that a kettlebell swing is essentially a squat and they do it like that. They squat down or they're lifting it with their arms because they're scared to let it drop. See, I'm kind of using and straining my arms to lift it up, okay? Both of those are incorrect. What you need to do, you need to start with trying to move without the kettlebell first. And you just need to focus on your glutes. You need to focus on doing this movement. Don't worry about your arms for now. Your knees are slightly bent. You're pressing through your heels. Make sure you don't straighten your legs completely. You're not squatting down. You're gonna be thrusting and locking your hips. Don't go back too far. You just want to come up here and lock your glutes. Okay, so practice this movement. You're gonna bend down, core tight, back muscles tight, and drive with your glutes, okay? Focus is on your glutes. When you come up, you're gonna lock in your core and your glutes. These are the two main muscles that you're working, okay? Your glutes and your core. So practice this movement without the kettlebell, focusing on these muscles here. Then, when you grab a kettlebell, start without going too high. Start with just doing this. See how I'm slightly exaggerating this movement and actually thrusting my hips forward? I'm not squatting and coming up. I'm bending down and thrusting. So practice that movement. Then start going higher with that kettlebell. And you can go a bit higher to make it harder. 
but master this movement first. Higher, higher, higher. Never try to go too high. Don't go all the way up there. You don't need to throw your kettlebell all the way up there because you're going to end up doing this, hurt your wrists and hurt your head. This is the highest that it should ever come up to. See? Here. That's it. Okay? And that's pretty much it. So guys, practice your kettlebells. You should not be feeling it in your lower back. It should be all in your core and your glutes. Drive with your glutes, lock your core. Drive with the glutes, lock your core. Okay? All right. I hope this video is helpful and I will see you next week with another how-to. Enjoy your day.